Kuznets of class aircraft carrier, displacement, 55,000 tons, 54,000 long tons, 61,000 short tons, empty weight, full load of 58,600 tons, 57,700 long tons, 64,600 short tons, length, 305 meters, 1,001 feet, beam, 72 meters, 236 feet, draft, 11 meters, 36 feet, propulsion, steam turbines 80,000 shp, 60,000 kilowatts, 200,000 shp, 150,000 kilowatts, speed, 29 knots, 54 kilometers per hour, 33 miles per hour, range, 8,500 nautical miles, 15,700 kilometers, 9,800 miles, at 18 knots, 33 kilometers per hour, 21 miles per hour, 3,800 nautical miles, 7,000 kilometers, 4,400 miles, at 29 knots, 54 kilometers per hour, 33 miles per hour, complement, 1,500, armament, 12P700 granite, SSN19 shipwreck, anti-ship missiles, 192 3K95 Kinsel, Cyan9 gauntlet, SAMS, 8 cash dunsives mounts, 6 AK-630AA guns, 1 UDAF-1 ASW rocket launcher, aircraft carried, 30 to 50 including 18 to 32 fixed wing aircraft and 18 to 24 helicopters the Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier Soviet project 11435 Chinese type 001 and type 002 is a class of fixed wing aircraft carriers operated by the Russian and Chinese navies originally designed for the Soviet navy the Kuznetsov class ships use a ski jump to launch high performance conventional aircraft in a stubborn configuration. The design represented a major advance in Soviet fleet aviation over the Kiev class carriers, which could only launch stall aircraft. The Soviet Union designated the ships as heavy aviation cruisers so that they could transit the Turkish Straits without violating the Montreux Convention, but the Chinese ships are classified as aircraft carriers. Because of the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the three Kuznetsov class ships were built over a protracted construction period of almost four decades. Two ships were originally laid down at the Nikolaev South shipyard in the Ukrainian SSR, to be followed by the first of the Ulyanovsk class nuclear powered supercarriers. Only the lead ship Admiral Kuznetsov had been commissioned when the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991 and the ship now serves in the Russian Navy. Her sister ship Variag was abandoned until 1998, when an independent Ukraine sold the ship to China for use as a floating casino, along with a complete set of blueprints. Variag was eventually completed and commissioned in 2012 as China's first aircraft carrier, the Type 01 aircraft carrier leaning. China subsequently constructed a third ship to a modified Type 002 design commissioning Shandong in 2019, role. The Kuznetsov class ships were described by their Soviet builders as Tyres Holly Avian Sushki Krazer, Takrotav heavy aircraft carrying cruiser, intended to support and defend strategic missile carrying submarines, surface ships, and maritime missile carrying aircraft of the Soviet fleet. In its fleet defense role, Admiral Kuznetsov's P-700 Granite, SSN-19 NATO reporting name, Shipwreck, Anti-Ship Cruise Missiles, 3K-95 Kinsel, Gauntlet, Surface-to-Air Missiles, and Su-33, Flanker D, aircraft are its main weapons. The fixed-wing aircraft on Kuznetsov are intended for air superiority operations to protect a deployed task force. The carrier also carries numerous helicopters for anti-submarine warfare. ASW, and search and rescue, SAR, operations. Transiding the Turkish Straits Sea also, 
Montrelux Convention regarding the regime of the Straits section aircraft carriers. The Russian naval system classifies the Kuznetsov class as heavy aircraft cruisers for the purposes of international law because it was fitted with long range anti ship cruise missiles. Under the 1936 Montrelux Convention, Aircraft carriers heavier than 15,000 tons may not pass through the Turkish Straits. Since Kuznetsov exceeds the displacement limit, it would have been confined to the Black Sea if it had been classified as an aircraft carrier. However, there is no tonnage restriction on other capital ships operated by Black Sea powers. Turkey has allowed Admiral Kuznetsov to pass through the Straits and no other signatory to the Montrelux Convention has objected to its designation as an aircraft cruiser. The Chinese Navy regards its Type 001 ships as aircraft carriers. The Chinese aircraft carrier leaning is armed with air defense weapons, but it is not equipped with the anti-ship or anti-submarine missiles that are on Kuznetsov. Instead, the hangar bay was extended to carry more aircraft. Design hull and flight deck The hull design is derived from the 1982 Key F class, but is larger in both length and beam. The Key F class ships had only an angled flight deck, with surface weaponry on the fore deck. The Kuznetsov class is the first Soviet carrier to be designed with a full length flight deck. The ship's 12 anti ship cruise missiles are located in launchers below the flight deck just after the ski jump. The aircraft carriers are of a stubber configuration, short takeoff but arrested recovery. Short takeoff is achieved by using a 12 degree ski jump on the bow. There is also an angled deck with arresting wires, which allows aircraft to land without interfering with launching aircraft. The flight deck has a total area of 14,700 square meters. 158,000 square feet. Two aircraft elevators, on the starboard side forward and aft of the island, move aircraft between the hangar deck and the flight deck. Air wing. In the original project specifications, the ship should be able to carry up to 33 fixed wing aircraft and 12 helicopters. The primary aircraft carried are Sukhoi Su 33 fighters. Naval variants of the Sukhoi Su-27 flanker, Kamov Ka-27 naval utility helicopters and its subsequent variants make up the helicopter wing, providing anti-submarine, maritime patrol and naval assault mobility capabilities. In addition the Kamov Ka-52K Katran attack helicopter, naval variant of the Kamov Ka-50 can also be included amongst its air wing armament. To comply with the Montrelux Convention restricting the transit of aircraft carriers through the Turkish Straits, the Kuznetsov class ships were originally designed as aircraft cruisers. Kuznetsov carries 12 launchers for P-700 Granite, SSN-19 shipwreck, anti-ship surface-to-surface missiles, which also form the main armament of the Kirov class battle cruisers. The granites would be stored in 12 vertical launch bays located at the front deck of the ship, just before the inclined ski jump. These bays would swing open to allow the missiles to be fired, however they prevented the launch of aircraft when they were deployed. The heavy surface armament makes Kuznetsov different from other countries' aircraft carriers, which carry only defensive armament and rely on their aircraft for strike power. For long-range air defense, Kuznetsov carries 24 vertical launchers for TOR missile system, SIN-9 gauntlet, surface-to-air missiles with 192 missiles. For close-range air defense, the ship carries eight Kashtan close-in weapon system, SOS, mounts. Each mount has two launchers for 9 M311 SAMs, twin GSH-30 30mm rotary cannons, and a radar, optronic director. The ship also carries six AK-630 30mm rotary cannons in single mounts. For defense against underwater attack, the ship carries the udaf one asw rocket launcher. The Russian Navy reportedly removed the granite missile tubes in the late 2000s to make room for a larger hangar bay. But it was never clear that the tubes were ever actually removed. During a major overhaul set to begin in September 2017, 
the P700 tubes will be replaced with new vertical launch tubes capable of housing newer caliber and P800 Onyx cruise missiles. Air defense upgrades will include replacement of the Keshtun sills with the Panster M and the 3K95 Kinsel. Tor system with the parliamentary dot system. Electronics are Su-33 on board Admiral Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov has D, E band air and surface target acquisition radar, passive electronically scanned array, F band surface search radar, G, H band flight control radar, I band navigation radar, and 4K band fire control radars for the cache tunsils. The ship has hull mounted medium and low frequency search and attack sonar. The ASW helicopters have surface search radar, dipping sonar, sonar boys, and magnetic anomaly detectors. Propulsion and performance. Admiral Kuznetsov is conventionally powered by eight gas fired clarification needed, boilers, and four steam turbines each producing 50,000 horsepower, 37 megawatts, driving four shafts with fixed pitch propellers. The maximum speed is 29 knots, 54 kilometers per hour, 33 miles per hour, and her range at maximum speed is 3,800 nautical miles, 7,000 kilometers, 4,400 miles. At 18 knots, 33 kilometers per hour, 21 miles per hour. Her maximum economical range is 8,500 nautical miles, 15,700 kilometers, 9,800 miles. Reliability. Admiral Kuznetsov has been plagued by years of technical problems. The vessel's steam turbines and turbopressurized boilers have been reported to be so unreliable that the carrier is accompanied by a large ocean going tug whenever it deploys in case it breaks down. There are also flaws in the water piping system, which causes it to freeze during winter. To prevent pipes bursting, the water is turned off to most of the cabins, and half the latrines do not work. Hope you enjoyed? Please consider subscribing.